This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at superconductors. So we'll start with a definition. A superconductor is a material that offers no resistance to an electric current below a critical temperature. Here we have a graph of resistance against temperature for a non-superconductor and a superconductor. The red line on the graph shows the effect of increasing the temperature on the resistance of a non-superconductor metal. So as we can see, the resistance of a metal, a non-superconductor, increases with increasing temperature. Conversely, the resistance of a non-superconductor metal decreases with decreasing temperature. Next, we look at the green line on the graph. So as we can see, the resistance of a superconductor decreases with decreasing temperature. However, a superconductor has zero resistance below a certain temperature which is known as the critical temperature. Next we look at type 1 superconductors. So type 1 superconductors are metallic elements such as zinc, mercury, aluminium and lead. Type 1 superconductors have very low critical temperatures of between 0.000325 Kelvin and 7.8 Kelvin. From this graph, we can see that type 1 superconductors show a sharp transition to the critical temperature. This is shown by the vertical line on the graph. And finally, type 1 superconductors work via Cooper pairs, which is covered in more detail in the next video. Next we look at type 2 superconductors. Type 2 superconductors can be alloys, composites, metal oxide ceramics or perovskites. Type 2 superconductors have higher critical temperatures than type 1 superconductors. From this graph, we can see that type 2 superconductors show a more gradual transition to the critical temperature. And finally, the mechanism of type 2 superconductors is still not fully understood. So we'll end with a comparison of type 1 and type 2 superconductors. Type 1 superconductors are metallic elements, whereas type 2 superconductors can be alloys, composites, metal oxide ceramics or perovskites. Type 1 superconductors have lower critical temperatures, while type 2 superconductors have higher critical temperatures. Type 1 superconductors show a sharp transition to the critical temperature, whereas type 2 superconductors have a more gradual transition to the critical temperature. And finally, type 1 superconductors work via Cooper pairs. Type 2 superconductors may not work by this mechanism.